Too revealing, too eccentric, or too extra are the words netizens use to describe the outfits of some unlucky idols. In today's video, I will name through some idols who have recently been said to wear unbearably questionable and controversial fits. Number 1. Yuki was said to dress too revealingly. Most recently, when Yuki flaunted her visual and admirably slender figure on Instagram and Weibo, lots of fans were excited because these photos were seemingly once again her manifestation in the change of style. From a cute bubbly image to a sexy and mature one. While many have left flattering comments about her outfits and said that they were happy to see Yuki express a new aspect of herself after the tomboy promotion, there were also lots of disparaging remarks about how she showed too much skin in this outfit. Netizen said, while they got how unique the design of the top was, and how in vogue super short skirts have been since the promotion of Prada with Yuna, they couldn't help but notice its uncomfortably short length, as the skirts didn't have any lining layers, causing Yuki's safety shorts to be clearly seen when sitting down. Plus, the neckline of the crop top was so low to the point that her bra could be seen. In Asian countries where women's clothes are heavily scrutinized, not only netizens, but even fans have expressed their concern, saying Yuki shouldn't have shown that much skin, and it was literally an implicit green flag for perverts to prey on her. However, to the fans' concern, Yuki calmly replied that all the thoughts about the right way for women to dress were mere prejudices. And when girls dressed in short skirts or showed more skin than usual, it didn't necessarily mean that they were targets for perverts. Besides hitting out at that assumption, Yuki also shared the idea that women should dress up for themselves, rather than for anyone else. Seeing the calm and collected reaction of Yuki, many have changed their mind and agreed that Yuki's mindset should be promoted more frequently, because it's already 2022. And those kind of prejudices should be left in the past. Plus, they also praised her for bravely standing up for such an ideology despite the rigorous nature of the K-pop industry, and the way she professionally handled the situation, rather than insensitively shouting back at fans. Number 2. ITZY's concept was said to be too outdated. Totally switching up their style with the upcoming promotion sneaker, many have projected that ITZY would soon come back stronger and better to prove their position in the bloodily competitive race of Idols Gen 4. However, did you know that before the official MV teaser was released, both fans and netizens have left many negative remarks about the group's outfits and Y2K concept after seeing their overly colorful teasers released on July 4th? According to netizens, these outfits look too mid for a top girl group like ITZY, and probably to make up for the plainness of the look, JYP Entertainment tried to add colors, and actually a whole bunch of colors, to the concept of ITZY. However, the worst was yet to come. Because when the individual teaser of each girl was released, even Midzies had to join the chat to question the capabilities of JYP Entertainment's creative team. With the excessive use of various bling bling elements, from the fairy dust, the heart shaped frame accompanied by the gradient background that everyone once obsessed with during the 2000s phase, many believed they were looking at a Photoshop failure. Apparently, everyone understood that Y2K was a big trend recently, but that didn't necessarily mean that they should channel the whole 2000s aesthetic to 2022. By that, netizens were telling the creative team to incorporate more modern elements to harmonize the old vibe, and had they still struggled to find the right way, they should look at the way Dua Lipa has carried herself for the past recent years. Some even straightforwardly called out the lazy attitude of JYP Entertainment, saying that such a floppy and tacky design created the solid impression that the company already wanted ITZY to flop. Many also said they were greatly disappointed, as the concept just screamed Y2K Disney Channel school supply merch and particularly the cheesy Hannah Montana spiral notebook covers. The funny thing is, when Vietnamese Mitzi saw the teasers, their reactions were even fiercer, as the whole thing sadly reminded them of the peasant and cheap images printed on the handy mirrors often used in the previous century. Because the mirror's design was so outdated, even people in the Vietnamese countryside have opted for prettier designs, and don't bother to buy them anymore. However, many have taken sides with Mitzi's creative team, defending that what people saw was the purest form of the Y2K trend. And besides Espa, ITZY is another top-notch act to channel this theme well. Others also believe this concept was intentional, and the root reason for shade thrown at ITZY probably came down to the sharp contrast between their first teasers, which followed the royal theme, with the bubbly one they are seeing right now. Number 3. V was said to dress eccentric. Most recently, when V appeared at the Celine fashion show, he took the world by storm for the charming handsomeness that totally deserved the title Most Handsome Man in the World 2021. However, many also said it was a pity that such a visual couldn't save his look at the show, as the stylist had made a very poor choice of clothes for V. In fact, while people have yet to talk about whether the outfit looked good or not, they were already let down, as V's outfit completely mismatched with the black theme worn by Lisa and Pak Bogum, 
and in fact, every other guest at the show that day. Because of this odd decision, many said that V and his stylists were disrespectful and unprofessional, as they apparently went against the dress code required by the host. Plus, as the show is a gathering of many other world-class celebrities, whose reputation has not only been big but also recognized by many generations for various classic works, V was also accused of trying to stand out and seek attention. While many defended that the red leather jacket was a statement piece that made his outfit less basic, according to netizens, it was total nonsense considering how extra his inner costume was. As if afraid that people wouldn't know V was a pop performer, the stylist made him wear a bling bling slim fit top mixed with a big Freston necklace, literally blinding people with all the light reflected by his top and accessories. What's even worse was that such a combo was accompanied by a pair of leather pants and leather boots, making V look like he was being suffocated in a bunch of clothes, rather than looking chic and high fashion. However, there were lots of fans saying that netizens were being ridiculously strict about the dress code thing, as V had already taken off the red jacket when entering the show. Plus, considering the fact that V has always pursued the maximalism style at big events, ever since BTS's collaboration with Gucci, people should have done some research to understand more about various fashion styles, rather than always asking idols to wear what other people want. This allegedly disappointing look also made netizens dig further to see if V has always been dressed this bad for the Celine trip. And after some clicks, they found out that his airport outfit was just as questionable as the one at the show. Specifically, netizens found it awkward that he wore a cropped shirt styled outside a white tank top. As the upper of the fit was rather loose, a fit pair of trousers would have helped harmonize the look. But for some reason, the courties just made him wear the black loose bell bottoms, not only adding weight, but also making him look way shorter than usual. That was not to mention how the stylist desperately tried to add some unisex vibe into V's costume with the black pointy nose boots but failed miserably as they only dragged his look further to the past. As found out by netizens, these stylists were inspired by the original styling of Celine, but because V was more muscular than the model, he gave off a very half-hearted and try-hard vibe. Looking at him, people could neither see the bad boy manly vibe nor the feminine unisex style, and believed V could have been better off had the stylist known which style complemented his figure most. Number 4. Nayan was said to dress provokingly. Not only taking people back with multiple achievements as a soloist, Nayan has also left netizens in awe with the overwhelming number of beautiful outfits for the pop promotion. Some even joke that Nayan must have signed with a new company, because JYP Entertainment barely styled twice that nice throughout their seven-year career. However, it didn't take long for netizens to pick out an outfit ticking them off. And similar to the case of Yuki, Nayan this time was also said to wear clothes that were too revealing. They said that, as a female idol whose signature image is innocent and bubbly, she should have covered her skin more instead of bringing on stage a lace top, whose hem was split up to the bust. That was not to mention how the lower part of the top also had a sensual cutout and lace hem, creating the impression that the stylist had made Nayan show her underpanties in one of her very first solo stages. Basically, as every detail of the top bore great resemblance to undergarments, particularly the sensual type according to netizens, Nayan has been criticized for being inappropriate and to a certain extent, leveraging cheap media play to make sure that her solo was non-stop mentioned one way or another. Still, there were lots of defending opinions, as many people claimed that it was all the stylist's fault to dress Nayan that way, and the fact that she ended up being the target of criticism was ridiculous. Plus, as lots of English comments under her fan cam focused on how addictive and perfect this solo was, instead of how her outfits looked like, some also said anti-fans should be less desperate in nitpicking and making fun of Nayan this comeback. So, do you think these idols' outfits are really problematic? Or are some people just not understanding their fashion sense? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to BeBossTV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.